Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go count. Hey now, you're a math star, get your game on, go add. When all that counting is done, we'll be adding sums. How are you math stars? Guess what? Today we start a new module. Hold up. We're already on module three. Amazing, and you know what? That means this is the last module in this book. And then you get a whole new book. And I know your mommies are really happy because they get a new teacher's manual. They finished one whole book. Whew. Good job. Okay, so today we're starting module three. Now every module has something that we're learning, a big goal. And this one, we're gonna call it our I can statement. So are you ready? I want you to say it after me, okay? I can, do you remember when we did echo? So I say it and then you say it. You're like an echo, ready? I can compare numbers within five. Good, we're gonna do it with some hand motions, ready? I can, Good. Okay, let's do it. Remember, echo. I do it, you do it. I can compare numbers within five. Good job. I can compare numbers within five. Perfect. That's what you're going to learn to do this unit. So let's get started. So here we go. Numbers to five. Can you show five? Can you show five? Now remember our last assessment, you, you had to do that, right? You had to show that you could write the number five. So here's my question for this page. This is, oh, we're on page 51. That is a five and a one. See, five, one, 51. Good. Okay, so here's my story. Some friends are having lunch. How many friends are there? Write the number. So each friend is eating a slice of pizza. Draw a slice of pizza for each friend. So how many friends? What we're gonna do is we're gonna count. Are you ready to count? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Five friends. You know what? I can't wait until I can have five or even more friends here in my classroom. Now, they want us to draw pizzas on each plate. What shape does that look like? A slice of pizza looks like what shape? Can you say it? Tell somebody in the room, say a pizza looks like a, did you say triangle? Good job, they're all eating triangles. Very nicely done. That is our beginning, ready? Next page, turn your page. And this right here is the are you ready? So what this is friends, if you, it's just basically saying, are you ready to go on to this module? Which I know you are, so I want you to in just a minute, I'm going to have you pause this video and I'm going to have you do it. Let me read the directions first. Right here, Megan reads four books. Ready? Can you draw counters to show how many books she reads? Do you remember when we drew counters? So you're going to draw counters to represent how many books. Okay, the second story. Those look like bookmarks that maybe go in the books to mark your page. Let's see. Jan decorates two bookmarks. Two bookmarks. Can you draw counters to show how many bookmarks she draws? Okay, we'll do that. Now, write the numbers zero to five, right here. Count the number of backpacks and write the number right here. Number four, draw counters to show three. So you're not showing how many backpacks, you're showing the number three, and then you're gonna write the number, okay? So go ahead and pause the video and do that page for me. We are going to identify a greater number of objects. 
What does that mean? Well, that means if you have two sets of objects, excuse me, it just sometimes. If you have two sets of objects, which one is greater or which one has more? Okay, so let me get something. Okay, I have counting bears in my hand. In this hand, how many do I have? Let's count them. One, two, I have two. And in this hand, I'm gonna try to do this, this is hard. I'm good at counting, I'm not good at, I'm not as good at trying to hold these. Can you see how many bears do I have? One, two, three. So tell me which group is greater or which group has more? Which one has more? Which one is greater? Yes, right. So I want you to stand up for me. Okay, stand up, ready? Greater number, echo. Greater number means more. Can you do that? Greater number means more. Good job. So now let's go to our book. And this time, let me show you, you're on page 5353. And here's a toy shelf. He has some green toy planes and some blue toy planes on his shelf. So you're going to draw to represent, represent means show. Good, you're gonna show each group using a different number within five. What does that mean? If you're using a number within five, you're gonna do zero, one, two, three, four, or five. It's gotta be within five, okay? So I'm going to do, let's see, we said some green toy planes. So these green ones are gonna represent my green planes. And so I'm going to put them on a shelf. One, two, three. That's how many I have. And some blue planes. So let's see how many blue planes I have. One, two, three, four. That's two different groups. Which one is greater? Which group is greater? I'll give you a hint. Greater means more. Greater means more. So which one has more? And I want you to circle it. Maybe you didn't use three and four. Maybe you used different numbers. Whatever you did, I want you to circle whichever group is more, okay? All right. Here we go. Lily has blue stickers. She has three blue stickers. She also has five green stickers. How can you represent the groups of objects? You're on, in your book on page 54, okay? So three blue stickers. I'm gonna use this again, because that's blue. One, two, three. So I'm gonna represent three blue stickers. She also has five green stickers. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Five green stickers. Did I represent them well? How about you? Did you represent them? How did you represent them? Circles, stars, whatever. Okay, now I want you to circle the group that has the greater number of objects. So which is more? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, which is greater, which is more? You know, you can think about it like this. Instead of stickers, what if it was candy? Three pieces of candy, five pieces of candy. Which group do you want? You probably want the one that has more or the greater group. Remember, greater number means more. Ready? 
So we're gonna circle, silly math wizard, circle it neatly. Circle the larger group. Okay, the next part on your page. Marco has two dinosaur stickers. He also has four butterfly stickers. Circle the group that has the greater objects. Which one? Let's see, let's one, two, one, two, three, four. Which is greater? And you're gonna circle that one. Go ahead. Do it now. You're gonna turn your page right here. This is page 55. It has a five and a five. Okay, and this is one that we are gonna do together. I'm gonna do it on the computer, and you're gonna do it with your book. Ready? Okay, Jenny has five blue blocks on one shelf. She has four green blocks on the other shelf. Identify the group that has the greater number of blocks and circle it. So if we don't know that five is bigger than four, is larger, greater than four, you know what, how we can tell which group is bigger? We can match it one to one. Do you remember doing that before? Let's practice. One, two, three, four. <gasps> this one doesn't have any more to match and this one still does. What does that mean? That means this group is the greater group. Remember, greater number means more. It has more. Okay, here's the next section, ready? Amy has three blue blocks. She has four green blocks. Which group has the greater number of blocks? And circle that group. So we counted one, two, three, four. One, two, three. But Math Wizard, I don't remember what's the greater number, three or four. I don't remember. Well, if you ever don't remember, let's match. One, two, three. <gasps> Look, there's no more blue blocks. There's still a green block, which means the green block has more. The green group is greater. Greater number means more. So now it's time for the on your own. Are you ready? Okay, on your own. That means that you will do it all by yourself. Okay, on your own, friends. Ready, that's what your page looks like. Page number 56, five and then a six. Okay, right here, here's your sun, five. You're gonna identify the group that has the greater number of objects and tell how you know that. So you're gonna tell your, your home teacher, whoever that is, mommy teacher, daddy teacher, grandma teacher, friend teacher, babysitter teacher, whoever it is. Look at the group of green cubes and the group of blue cubes. Which has a greater number of cubes? Which one? You can circle it, okay? Number six, that's the little heart one right here. Look at the group of yellow counters and the group of red counters. Which group has a greater number of counters? Now remember, that part's on your own. Don't ask for help. I know you can do it. There are lots of ways to figure it out, okay? Well, math stars, you did it again. You did a whole lesson. That was module three, lesson one, and you did it. And I am so proud of you. I will see you tomorrow.